Well, if this isn't the best Christmas present I could have asked for. I didn't think it was going to happen. I honestly had given up hope anything was going to happen to Snake Thing. But here he is, back in jail and looking at potential life in prison. For those who don't know who I'm talking about, Snake Thing, aka Levi Dane Simmons, was the biggest player in the Zeusadism ring that was busted in September 2018. This guy was extremely prolific among Zeusadists and furry pedophile communities. He was abusing animals, he was abusing his own underage family members, online he was grooming minors into sexually abusing animals. Just an awful, awful excuse for a human being. On October 25th, 2018, he was arrested and charged for sexually abusing a 12-week-old puppy, and all his electronics were seized. But three days later, he was released after the Coos County District Attorney dropped all charges. This was so investigations into him could continue without risking a plea deal that would cripple the prosecution's chances to press further charges in the future. And after that, we had no updates for over a year. The police weren't saying anything. It was starting to look like Snake Thing might be slipping through the cracks. But on Christmas morning of all days, someone on Kiwi Farms decided to do a little digging and found some amazing news. On December 4th, 2019, Coos County Police returned to Snake Thing's house and arrested him on 31 charges. Seven charges of encouraging child sexual abuse in the first degree, which is child pornography distribution and a class B felony. 19 charges of encouraging child sexual abuse in the second degree, which is child pornography possession and a class C felony and five charges of encouraging sexual assault of an animal, which is bestiality pornography possession, and a class A misdemeanor. The initial charges for sexual assault of the puppy and animal neglect are gone, so it's possible the statute of limitations actually did play into that as was first hypothesized when he was released back in 2018. If he were to get the maximum sentencing on all the current 26 felonies and five misdemeanors, He'd be getting just a few days short of 170 years in prison. However, it's almost assured he won't be getting that long of a sentence. On the 26th, he had a court appointment listed as change plea. This probably means he's in the process of accepting a plea deal. How lenient this potential deal will be remains to be seen. On December 16th, his court records were updated with seeking upward departure meaning the state is requesting hard sentencing closer to the maximum penalties for these crimes. I'm not sure if this would be factored into the plea deal or not. In doing my research, I found that upward departure is also something that typically happens in federal level cases, yet this appears to be a state level trial, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but whatever it is, it's not good for him. I hope as part of his deal, he is required to turn over everything he knows about his fellow Zeusadist and pedophile friends. It'll be the only thing remotely approaching a good deal he'll ever have done in his miserable life. He has attempted to file for release, but thankfully that was denied on the 12th, and on the 26th, the court honored his attorney's request to waive Oregon's 60-day rule. This means he will remain in police custody even if pre-trial proceedings take longer than two months. He's not getting his freedom back anytime soon. He's going straight from jail to prison. His next court date is on January 27th. It's a bit of a wait and it sucks, but after a year, what's a month, you know? I'll be posting updates to Twitter and making a follow-up video as soon as there is a major update. I hope this news made the end of your year a little bit better. Happy holidays, everybody. When I first found out who Snake Thing was, what he had done, I felt something inside me change, and I knew it wouldn't be the same again. I saw his face, read the logs, the words still ringing in my head, flashes of images of the puppy he forever damaged, the children he forever damaged. He was as real of a monster as monsters could be. I met a special group of people as I got deeper into being involved, eventually becoming our point of contact with authorities. Together we worked tirelessly, some of us missing school classes due to being up all night long gathering and watching material. 
calling out of work to write documents and reports, researching each time we had a spare moment. We neared what we thought was the end. I still remember walking out of the post office after sending off the package to authorities. We were exhausted, relieved, and ready to get back to our lives. The call after his arrest came. We celebrated, we breathed our sighs of relief, shed our tears of happiness, only to be gutted by the news of his release a couple days later. Our hearts broke as we learned that they were going to pursue further charges and unsure how long they could. For a year I had nightmares, sometimes crying out in the middle of the night to make it all go away, trying to find comfort that justice would come. For a year I counted each day he was free, waiting for that phone call to tell me he wasn't. It never came. I lost faith in the police, lost faith in justice, even lost faith in myself. Did I try hard enough? Did I really do everything that was in my ability to do? I let down my friends who worked so hard. I let down those kids who suffered. I let down the animals who suffered. December 25th, I woke up to several messages from my friends. I unlocked my phone and opened the app. A screenshot, the most beautiful screenshot my eyes have ever beheld. Levi Simmons was in custody with a long list of charges. I burst into tears and dropped to my knees, the emotion of it slamming into me like a train as my husband panicked and asked me what happened. They got him, was all I could say as I clung to him, and felt the biggest weight upon my shoulders slowly fade. The darkness that loomed over me, the monster who haunted almost every happy corner of my thoughts, was gone. It's not over yet as we await his judgment day, but for now, it's enough.